Hey everybody, this is Dream, and today I'm going to be reviewing Bouncy Bullets 2. Bouncy Bullets 2 was developed by Petite Games and published by Radalaka Games. It is $4.99 on Xbox, and it came out on October 8th of 2021. It is a first-person shooter slash platformer, um, and it is also an ID at Xbox title. It is also currently on sale for $3.99. I'm not sure exactly when that sale ends, however. So this is a sequel to the first uh, Bouncy Bullets game, um, and it is fairly similar in the aspect that you basically are a, a little guy running around, and you have a gun, and your bullets bounce all over the place, uh, and you have enemies to shoot, and you also have to platform around the levels in order to complete them. Um, the game is fairly straightforward, and most of the levels have multiple paths to the uh, exit, uh, and you just have to figure out how to get to those exits. Uh, it's very simple. Um, there's lots of ways to die, but if dying, you just restart at the beginning of the level again. And the levels aren't very long or anything, so there's not too much, like, time loss, even when that happens. Um, and the enemies are not very good at hitting you either. Uh, I found in some aspects I was just running around trying to find where the exit was more than even trying to avoid enemies in some capacities. Uh, there's also collectibles you can pick up called Golden Nuts, and you can find those in all the different levels. Um, overall though, the game is kind of boring. Uh, there's just not a whole lot to it. Uh, you know, it's a very simple platforming game. There's no real difficulty in the platforming aspect of the game, other than the controls not being perfect. But, um, you know, the controls do definitely kind of negate some of the quality here, but... Uh, it's not, you know, it's, it's just a silly game, uh, and, you know, if you want an hour of silly fun, you know, this might do okay for you. Uh, this is probably better when it comes to the Rat Like games, you know, it's not too terrible, but it's just a pretty boring, in my opinion. Uh, I'm gonna give the game a 5 out of 10. Uh, you know, it's not the worst, uh, Rat Like game ever by any stretch, uh, but it's pretty straightforward and boring. And there's not a whole lot of difference. Even in the more difficult worlds, they didn't seem to be all that much more difficult to me. Um, all the achievements are also pretty simple. Uh, you just have to complete uh, levels in each type of difficulty world, and then uh, com you know complete a level in speedrun mode, and defeat enemies of different colors and things of that nature. So, very simple game. Uh, not a whole lot to say really about it. Uh, so. That's pretty much all I have on this one. So have a nice day, guys.